Day 28 is all about being a tourist in San Francisco. Come along and join me, friends. So my day started with heading to Pier 39 to see the seals and eat soup out of a bread bowl because that's something you're supposed to do when you're in San Francisco. So I headed down to the pier and I did exactly what I just said I was going to do. <laughs> wow, sleep does not make me think any better. I saw the seals and there are a lot of them and some of them fight and that made me sad because there, so there was so much room on the docks for them all to sleep. And I don't, I couldn't tell whether one place is better than another, but maybe they were fighting about ladies. I don't know. Anyway, so I saw the seals. I ate some soup in a bread bowl. I did not have clam chowder. I had tomato soup because I like tomato soup. After eating soup in a bread bowl and spending a little time walking around Pier 39, I decided I wanted to get lost in San Francisco. So I just got in my car and drove whichever direction I thought seemed like a good idea. I ended up actually near the Golden Gate Bridge, so I decided it was high time to take in this attraction that everyone else had already been to except for me. So I drove across it, took some pictures, and then I drove back across it, um, which is what you're experiencing now. So the bridge itself is cool, I enjoy its color, and... It's a means to get from one side of the city to the other, but the structure itself is really neat. And especially when you added the fog in, it sort of took on a really fun quality to drive across and look at it from higher vantage points. Continuing my quest to get lost around the city, I kept driving again and ultimately ended up on knowingly at Lombard Street. So I parked my car and I walked down. I didn't feel like I needed to subject the car to driving the switchback street. So I walked down, took the requisite photos, walked back up um, the street itself. Like I get, I get it. It's cool. And the gardens are really neat, but it was just sort of like, well, they could have put this street in a straight line. It didn't need to be all switchbacky. Anyways, it was still cool to see, even though that's not where I intended to see it at all. Whatever. Words. After playing tourist, I decided to head to Lauren White's neighborhood, and I hung out in Dolores Park and read a book and sat on a blanket until Lauren got home from work. After meeting some of Lauren's roommates, no, all of them, all at once, they were all home. Uh, Lauren's roommates, we went out to dinner at Taco Licious, where we had as you would gather from the name of the restaurant, really delicious tacos, like so good. And we had some really good drinks at the bar next door, which is the same place. It's just called something different that I can't remember right now. Anyways, delicious drinks, delicious taco, really fun company. It was so fantastic to catch up with Lauren. I hadn't seen her in a really long time, but it was just like really great, a really great time. Hey Lauren. I had a really great time, okay? Hopefully it won't be so long before we see each other again. Lauren also uh, gave me the idea that uh, Boise, Idaho was the it place to be. So that is where I'm headed in a few days. So stay tuned for Boise, but this is day 28. So it's not Boise yet, it's still San Francisco. Okay, so that is enough about day 28. I had a lot of fun playing tourist and just driving around the city and getting lost and seeing things that I hadn't intended to see and just sort of getting a feel for what San Francisco was all about. So I had fun. Good day to you. Bye. Is it weird that you can see like the pillow behind me? I'm not really thinking these things through. All right. Am I? All right. Whatever. Phrases, glasses, good day, or welcome aboard. Whatever, goodbye.